With the recent water deaths on Panama City Beach, law enforcement and beach safety are looking into more consistent prevention. News 4's Dayside anchor Bela Walker joins us live with the latest way they plan to focus on that effort. So Bela, what are they doing? Yeah, Kinsley, the chief of Panama City Beach Police requested that there be officers out by the water when there is a designated double red flag day. Now this is to catch those who are not supposed to be there. Now, those who do violate beach ordinances can be fined up to $500 without a warning. If found doing so a second time, they can face up to 60 days in jail with a misdemeanor charge. Daryl Paul, the director of Panama City Beach Safety, insisted they would prefer other solutions before having to fine or arrest beachgoers. The goal is to not treat the fines as any kind of revenue stream or anything like that. We want to try and gain compliance with the visitors and the citizens of Panama City Beach through reasoning and preventative actions. And both Beach Safety and PCBPD mentioned that while a lot of people think only double red flag waters are dangerous, they experience similar calls for help during the days with only one red flag flying. So Kinsley, the bottom line is pay attention to those red flags. Very important note there. Bela Walker, thank you.